Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will show you how you can install Elementor on your website a few different ways. How to install Elementor Pro on your website and how to uninstall Elementor Pro on your website and what will happen when you deactivate your Elementor Pro license. Will your website stay intact? I'm going to talk about it and in this overview here below you can see timestamps. So if you want to go to a certain part you can do that and now I would like to say let's get started. Well, there are a few right ways. The first one is go to ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. This is an affiliate link. So when you get the free version, nothing happens. But when you get the pro version, you don't pay more, but I get a commission. So thank you for that. You click here on get started. If you don't see that, click over here on get started. Then the first question is, do you have a WordPress website? So if you don't, you can click over here. If you have, you say, sure I do and click on continue. Then it says, please insert your full domain address. So I'll click over here, come on C. And I paste it and I click on check for WordPress. Then I can click to install. If you don't feel secure with this, you can do it the other way. I click here on install now. I will show you the other way in a minute. But now it's working. You can activate the plugin. And that's one way. What is another way? Let's go to ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. Then go to get started. You already have a WordPress website. Click on continue. And then here below, you can say alternatively, if you prefer to install Elementor manually, you can download it here. So now it will be downloaded over here. I go to my backend and since I just installed Elementor, I will deactivate and delete it. So from, you know, from the website, how do you install Elementor? The second way, go to the backend to plugins, add new, click on upload plugin and drag this one over here, or you can choose a file, go to your downloads. I select it over here. Click on install now. So that's the second way. Activate the plugin. Well, there's also a third way. I click on plugins, deactivate, and delete. The third way is actually the best way. You go to plugins, add new, and you search for Elementor. And there it is. Click on install now. And click on activate. Okay. Then you think maybe I want to use Elementor Pro. In order to get it, you can go to ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. Then you can click on pricing. And you can choose a plan. The free one is here. We have that already. You can use it for one website, three websites, or a thousand. The package is the same. The only difference is the amount of websites, the amount of licenses you get. So if you want to buy it, you can click over here. You get a 30 day money back guarantee. You fill in your details and you pay with credit card or with PayPal. Click on check out. When you do that, you go to this area and then you can go to my account and download the plugin. You just go to your dashboard, you go to plugins, add new, upload the plugin. So you need to have Elementor, the free version. And then on top of that, you can have the pro version. Install it now. Then you need to activate it. Then you need to connect it and activate it over here. If you don't see that, then you can go to Elementor license or to plugins and connect and activate. I click over here. Then you need to log in with your login details you just created on your Elementor account when you bought Elementor Pro. Click on login. I select my license and I click on activate. So now it's active. And if I take a look at my website right now, it looks pretty much the same, but I can add a new page. I can call this home, publish, 
edit with Elementor. And now I click over here. And now I can add three elements and the pro elements. And there's so much you can do with the pro version. If I go back to the dashboard to WordPress, and there's a template area, we can have a whole theme builder. And it is amazing. We can have custom headers, footers, single posts, and all assign them to specific pages. So you have so much freedom to create a website you have in mind. If you want to know more about that, you can go to YouTube, search for Elementor Pro, and then 30, of course, because I want to be number one. I have this tutorial over here. A new one will arrive shortly. So then it will pop up over here. And you can learn how to work with Elementor Pro if you want to learn how to work with Elementor Free. Search for Elementor 30. And I have a ton of tutorials on how to start with creating a website using Elementor. So let's talk about uninstalling uh, Elementor Pro and Elementor and what happens when you do not renew your license. Will your website stay intact your Elementor Pro website? Well, let's import a Pro template by clicking over here. Well, click on new. I'm going to install a uh, Pro template, or you can search. I search for Black Friday. I like this one. I can insert it in the homepage. And then I go over here to the settings, page layout, Elementor full width. That looks much better. So what I can do now to show you a, a pro here, here's a pro area, a countdown is from the pro version. So if I search over here, I remove the basics and I search over here, you can see the countdown. So this is a pro functionality. So what happens? If I cancel my subscription and I remove Elementor Pro, let me go to the dashboard to WordPress and I go to Elementor license and I say disconnect. Now it says, please activate your license to get future updates, premium support and unlimited access to the template library. So, so my website is still working. Also the pro features. As you see over here, but now if there's an update, which there is from Elementor Pro, and I click on update now, it says update failed, unauthorized. So we're not authorized to update any new things. But if I go to my website and I click on edit with Elementor, I can still edit the pro stuff. So let's say, uh, let's change it like that. But I cannot add new areas that are from the pro area. So I cannot add new pro elements because I need to activate my license. So when you choose to not renew your license, you still can use whatever you have, but you cannot not add more to it. So if I would go to the theme builder, I can still add a header, but I need to activate it in order to really use it. So actually you cannot use it. And what happens when we decide to remove Elementor Pro? So I can say deactivate, but then look at this. You see things are left out. When I turn it back on, refresh, it is back, but again, you can edit it, but you can add not more things. So that's what happens when you decide to not extend your license. And if we remove Elementor Pro, you do not see the Pro elements anymore. And if we decide to remove Elementor, <laughs> Look at this. Your website is becoming a mess. So now we can edit it in the Gutenberg page builder, but it leaves nothing as it was. Now the question is what will happen when we install Elementor again? Go to plugins, add new, search for Elementor. Install.
the page is back again. But what if we install Elementor Pro again? Upload a plugin, choose the file. Elementor Pro. Install. Activate without a license. Yes, the pro features are back. And again, you cannot add anything. So that's how it works. I hope this will make everything clear for you. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about Elementor and Elementor Pro, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can like this video if you like it. And I hope you have a great day and you will create beautiful websites using Elementor and Elementor Pro. Bye-bye. And Divi. <laughs>